I, uh, I, when I was a kid, I used to go to Six Flags every summer, and uh, I, I don't know if you guys have been to Six Flags Great America, but they've got uh, like a three-level carousel, and uh, my, my thing was I always loved that they had different animals on the carousel. They had a tiger. Objection. Brian's mm -hmm. describing something we've already seen. I want to describe something I just made up in my head. Sustain! Yes. <laughs> so the carousel I wanted to invent involves uh, three dimensions, like well, crazy layers. Like there's like a box shape, and you have to go box wise. And, but you're riding a fucking shark, and it's like spurting water at other people. And you're I'm sorry, objection. Uh -huh. uh, I'd like to talk about the time I got sick on the Tilt a World. Sustain! Uh, yes. <laughs> it wasn't Six Flags, it was Paul Bunyan's. Uh, <laughs> 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 professionals in the business. So uh, objection, I would argue that Paul Bunyan was the best professional lumberjack ever. It's a state. All right. Uh, so I uh, have a lot of sh uh, really sad stories about merry-go-rounds. Uh, oh, Chips, what about uh, Paul Bunyan? Uh, it's a state. Yes. So Paul Bunyan <laughs> was a fictitious character in American folklore. He was giant. He was uh, like objection. the best. You're still me saying something we already know about. Can I make up a story about Lady Liberty? Something so <laughs> <Lady about. laughs> Liberty lived in the deepest neck of the yeah, world. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was really sick of Paul Bunyan's. Yeah. In the deepest neck of the world. Yes, yes. Scott was really, really sick. Sustained. Okay. okay. <laughs> so Lady Liberty was sitting in the neck of the woods. Uh -huh. oh, Holding his hair back while he. Was it we were just no, upset. No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, Lady Liberty's just holding Scott's hair back because he's really little. He was just uh, objection! Crazy. How was he going to. Uh, gee, sorry. How was Lady Liberty going to hold hair back with a uh, torch in one hand and a book in the other? Sustained! Yes. Yes. Uh, unless, of course, she was a terrific juggler. Not only so, but if she were able to juggle a torch, book, and somebody's hair. Quite a feat, if I may. Um, although there are jugglers that. Objection! Are my story had bears. Sustained. So Lady Liberty, <laughs> trapped in a corner by three grizzly bears. The bears were holding her. Here she was like, hey, come back, bears. I had a torch in the book. But the bears wouldn't have it. And suddenly, uh, 